Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about night guards. And before we jump in, I'd like to quickly remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for. And also my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. So lots of us clench and grind our teeth at night and we can't control it because we're asleep. And of course, there's a bunch of reasons why clenching and grinding is not good for your overall health. But since this is a dental YouTube channel, I'm primarily going to focus on why it's not good for your teeth and jaw and how to prevent damage by wearing a night guard. Quick background about teeth grinding and clenching also known as bruxing. In some cases, bruxing can result in fracturing, loosening, or loss of teeth. Chronic bruxing may wear teeth down all the way to the stumps. When these events happen, bridges, crowns, root canals, implants, partial dentures, and even complete dentures may be needed to replace your teeth. Not only can severe grinding damage teeth and result in tooth loss, it can also affect your jaw, cause or worsen TMD, TMJ disorder, and even change the appearance of your face. So to prevent this all from happening, if you are clenching or grinding, it is recommended that you wear a night guard when you sleep. And you can get fitted for a custom fabricated night guard at your dentist office. Now, I have lots of patients tell me, no way would I wear that, I'd be afraid to swallow it, or I'll never get used to it, or I don't want to pay for it, it's expensive. All valid reasons to be concerned, but let's talk about each one. I'll be afraid to swallow it. I assure you, if you decide to get a custom fabricated night guard made by your dentist, you will not swallow it. It won't come off with your tongue. It is hard to remove it. Actually, you have to use both hands to pop it out. If this is a concern of yours, talk with your dental provider about the different types they can make to ensure it will snap in and feel secure for you. I'll never get used to it. Same thing, as long as it's made by your dentist, it will fit. And over time, like anything else, you will get used to it. It might take time, but it is so worth it in saving your teeth from unnecessary crowns and root canals. I'm actually so used to wearing mine now that I can't even fall asleep without it. It doesn't feel bulky to me at all. And if you're nervous about it feeling bulky, again, tell your dentist. Sometimes there are options to make something called an NTI, where it's a small piece of plastic that attaches to your front teeth only instead of the full arch. There are all these different options and materials they can use to make it comfortable for you, so just ask. I don't want to pay for it, it's expensive. Totally get it. Some insurances won't cover it and it can be expensive. The other option is to buy an over-the-counter night guard where you can mold it yourself in your microwave at home. Please keep in mind that these will not fit perfectly like the custom dental lab fabricated ones, but something is better than nothing to protect your teeth. So if you want one and you can't afford the custom dental made one yet, try the one from the drugstore. It can't hurt to try. And if you think about buying a night guard, versus paying for crowns and dental work to fix your teeth because of grinding away your enamel when you sleep, the night guard is the way to go. It will save both your enamel and save your money over time. And having said that, over time you might need to replace your night guard every five to 10 or 20 years, right? It depends on how much you grind through the plastic. I've had mine for about five years now and it's totally fine. I feel like I'm going to have this one for a long time, but my old retainers that I used to use as night guards, those were not a thick plastic, they were a thin plastic and they look like this. I was grinding right through them, but think about that. That plastic would have been your teeth. It's better to buy new night guards and new retainers than to buy new teeth. So we just went over that you will grind your teeth away when you're sleeping without wearing a night guard. But also, if you are clenching your jaw as well, especially it is important to wear a night guard because you are placing now a protective barrier between your teeth so that your TMJ doesn't fully engage. It's super beneficial for your teeth and your jaw. In addition, for clenchers especially, the custom night guards are generally made with a flat bottom. And the plastic retainers that you may have got after braces or after you did teeth straightening with clear aligners whatever the case, those ones do help protect your teeth. Like I showed you with my old retainers, that would have been my teeth I was grinding through, but luckily it was the plastic instead. But the thing about these is that they don't help your jaw as well if you're clenching because they don't have the flat bottom. The flat bottom helps your teeth not flex when they hit against the other teeth. In addition, a lot of the over-the-counter night guards that you buy in the store can be made from soft material, which isn't great to prevent clenching either. It can sometimes make you even clench more and hurt your jaw more. Again, it's protecting your teeth, so something is better than nothing, but please remember that the custom night guards are best to help your jaw due to the flat bottom and the hard outer material used. And lastly, is there anything else you can do to stop clenching and grinding your teeth? Well, if stress is causing you to clench and grind your teeth, ask your doctor or dentist about options to reduce your stress. Attending stress counseling, starting an exercise program, seeing a physical therapist, 
or getting Botox for your jaw are among some of the options that may be offered. If a sleeping disorder is causing the clenching or grinding, treating it may reduce or eliminate the habit, such as sleep apnea. Get a sleep test. I do have a video all about how to reduce jaw pain at home and different treatment options for jaw pain, which I will link those videos in the bottom bar below if you're interested. Other tips to help you stop teeth grinding include avoid or cut back on foods and drinks that contain caffeine, such as colas, chocolate, and coffee. Avoid alcohol. Grinding tends to intensify after alcohol consumption. Do not chew on pencils or pens or anything that is not food. Avoid chewing gum as it allows your jaw muscles to get more used to clenching and makes you more likely to grind your teeth. Train yourself not to clench or grind your teeth. If you notice that you clench or grind during the day, position the tip of your tongue between your teeth. This practice trains your jaw muscles to relax. Relax your jaw muscles at night by holding a warm compress against your cheeks in front of your earlobes. In conclusion, a key challenge with sleep bruxism, clenching and grinding while you slumber, is that it is much harder for people to be aware that they are grinding their teeth while sleeping. Also, a sleeping person doesn't realize their bite strength, so when you're sleeping, you more tightly clench and grind your teeth than you would during the day. And it can actually be up to 250 pounds of force. That's like a lot. And as we said, long-term consequences of sleep bruxism can include significant harm to the teeth. Teeth may become painful, eroded, and mobile, aka loose. Teeth grinding can also increase the risk of problems with the joint that connects your lower jaw to the skull, known as the temporomandibular joint, TMJ. TMJ problems can provoke difficulty chewing, chronic jaw pain, popping or clicking noises, locking of the jaw, and other complications. And lastly, nighttime teeth grinding can also impact a bed partner. The noise from clinching and grinding can be bothersome, making it harder for a person sharing the bed to fall asleep or stay asleep as long as they would like. So all of these reasons hopefully will make you consider getting or wearing your night guard or your retainer or something to protect your teeth. I can't stress enough that something is better than nothing. Try the over-the-counter one. Try wearing your old retainer if it fits. And if you need a new night guard and you're able to, then get a new night guard at your dentist. Your teeth and jaw will thank you. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. And I'll link my other Bruxism and TMJ videos about causes, pain, and treatment in the bottom row below if you'd like to learn more. Peace, love, and teeth.